Over the past two years, we have seen Fall River's unemployment climb to the highest in the state. We have seen crime increase while the number of police officers has been cut again. Our public school system is one of only two in Massachusetts threatened with state takeover. There is no good reason why other communities should succeed while we continue to fall further behind. My education, public service, and my personal and professional life experiences have taught me much. I've learned that leaders must be good listeners in order to take full advantage of the knowledge and experience around them. No one person has all the answers, and elected officials are no exception. As mayor, I will be the leader to bring the city council, school committee, legislative leaders, and government employees together to confront our city's problems head on. Our goals are simple. One, reduce unemployment by changing job creation and retention strategies that currently don't work. Two, make our neighborhoods safe and clean with more police officers and DPW workers. Three, make government affordable by reducing wasteful spending for highly paid lawyers, administrators, and indirect services. Four, improve education and literacy by moving money into direct services for students. And five, reduce the economic drain caused by excessive transient subsidized housing. Creating new jobs and protecting the jobs we have must be our number one priority. It's time to hold the Fall River Office of Economic Development accountable. They will have goals and they will be expected to meet those goals or face consequences. Once I am elected mayor, we will work with our existing businesses and create a mayor's ambassador team to attract new companies to Fall River. We will start a new outreach program to make sure that we meet the needs of our existing businesses. We recently read about an industrial park business that had to threaten to leave Fall River just to get someone to pay attention to their needs. We can no longer take our existing businesses for granted. Every job we have is worth protecting. We need to make our city safe and clean. Businesses and residents do not want to locate in high crime com communities. Fall River has the fourth highest crime rate in the state, and yet the mayor recently cut nine positions from the police department budget. Folks, this is not how to fight crime in Fall River. I recently had the opportunity to ask the president of the Fall River Police Association what we can do to reduce crime in our city. He responded, Give our police department the manpower it needs, and we will take back the streets of Fall River. Ladies and gentlemen, this must be our goal. Fall River is going through some very difficult times, but we can make a difference. I've learned in my life that when determination remains strong, things can change. Dreams that may seem unrealistic to some can come true, with a steady, unwavering vision and an inspiring leader who people can believe in. I am running for mayor because I believe in you and I believe in me. And I know that once we join forces, no one will be able to stop us from making Fall River the great community that you and I know it can and will be. I ask for your vote on Tuesday, September 13th, Let's get Fall River working again.